Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Prison Architect. I will remind you right at the start here, this series did at one point used to be sponsored by the uh, lovely people at Interversion Software and the organization that is uh, producing Prison Architect or has produced Prison Architect and is still continuing to do so. Um, but it is no longer. I'm producing these of my own volition. I can say whatever I want. Fart, fart, poop, uh, spaghetti, spaghetti diarrhea. I can say whatever I want. So uh, if, if, if you still deserve to know is basically what I'm trying to get at here. Um, last time on Prison Architect, we... Expanded our yard to cheers and jeers from some people who still think it's maybe not large enough. On this episode, I have realized I can get a free grant by getting a uh, crackdown on drugs, which just finishes because I'd already done, uh, I'd already found 10 drugs within my prison, apparently. I also realized, thanks to your lovely feedback, that the only reason we can't have the classroom actually work is because you need three hours of work in order to make it functional. So, I'm going to give them a little bit more freedom and a little bit less lockup. And then this classroom should actually be able to function uh, as our effective regime. So, our, our regime should be effective now, I should say. So, let's go to programs and start foundation education program. And there you go. It is actually working now. I don't want to be crass or rude. It's not really crass. I don't want to be rude. But I, I think it's a little bit unclear. It says rooms are booked. It would be nice if that feedback was a little bit more meaningful, but uh, hopefully that's something that maybe can come in the future. It's certainly non-urgent, and as someone who is learning programming myself, uh, uh, valuable feedback, I think, but also at the same time, non-urgent. Uh, non-urgent non for sure. Um, we have some other grants that we can do as well, but I think the first one we want to knock out is probably uh, expanding our prison. So let's start with uh, cell block C. When we finish cell block C, we'll get a bunch of money. We only need to cross 100. So I think what I'm going to do is set up a fence like along here. And I'm going to build another cell block here. So we'll demolish this fence. And I know that this is going to fuck with our yard. And we bought a bunch of grass that we didn't need to actually buy. I apologize for that. I am very much in the, in the market for making my prison look uh, nicer right now. Like, let's throw down some stone right here. I don't really want to throw it down there. We'll throw down some stone here while we got the extra money. It's expensive, but you know what? We're worth it, baby. And this will this will make this area look a little nicer. We're going to take it up to speed three because we're going to be building out a foundation soon. And to be honest with you, we probably should not have our workmen doing non-essential stuff like making the grounds look nice, but that's okay. Placing that stuff is very quick, and it's also extremely quick to, to augment this. And then we're just going to build our... Uh, our foundation out, but before we build our foundation out, we're going to plan a little bit. Do we have more prisoners coming in today? We don't need to take in prisoners today. Alright, so we're going to look at our planning. Walls. We're going to build a cell block that looks like this. One, two, three. You know what? I was actually thinking, what if we build like an awesome cell block? This at least makes this, even though it's uh, non-efficient as far as space goes, we have a place that our prisoners... By the way, that text is going to be there. Just get used to that. Um, we have a place where our prisoners can kind of be rewarded for their good behavior. So if we look at our logistics menu and then go to cell quality, you can actually see what makes a cell good, what makes it terrible. Uh, basically, each one of these is worth one point, and then you get a, a higher grade the more of these you can tick off. So room is at least six squares, uh, outdoor window, office desk, shower head, TV. I don't know if we're going to be able to fulfill all of those, but we could probably make some grade six or grade seven quality cells here. So let's, let's look at how we would like to do that. If we're going to do that... Um, we're going to build our foundation out for now, like so. Let's just stretch it up to here. Because we only need five more cells, so we can easily do that. Uh, we need cells that have 16 squares. So one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And then inside of the cell, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I'm an idiot and I can't count. One, two, three, four. Can I not just do like that? Four by four, perfect. This cell is four by four now. Wait a minute, uh, stop. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, this one is four by three, because I am still dumb. This one is four by four. Now, keep in mind, this is the first time I've ever done this. One, two, three, four. So I don't know if it's going to have unpredictable effects. I don't know if people are going to get, you know, shot in the dome. One, two, three, four. One, no, oh, it should... There we go. Now it looks right. Now it looks right. This is a little confusing. I don't know if people are going to get shot in the dome because they're in these awesome cells. Maybe it's worth it. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. 
And then we'll have, I guess, like, room for solitary over here. We just put, like, another regular cell here. This is like, hey, this is what you could aspire to if you weren't such a piece of shit. Mm, I don't know. We could also just make this, like, a hallway that, so that we can expand in the future. I think that's probably a better outlook for us. Let's make that a hallway. And if we really wanted solitary, we could set up solitary like this. Actually, it doesn't have to be like that. I doubt we're going to have uh, the desire for this level of solitary, but... Now that I think about it, they're going to walk in. No, we can just move our doors through here. Okay, so we'll put the jail door here. And we'll put a wall down here. Alright, that'll... Wait, uh, that's objects. There we go. Uh, and then they'll walk in through here and there'll be solitary on the right. It's a lot of solitary, but... I think there's a cool psychological... <laughs> cool, maybe not the word I want to use there, but... There's a psychological uh, aspect of having the... Uh, the solitary look at the awesome cells. It's like, hey, if you behave nicely, this is like, you know, you could actually get here one day. But for now, you're being kind of an asshole, so too bad. Um, that'll be our last solitary room right here. Okay, I like this. Uh, let's build out our foundation and then we'll start to fill it in. Now, the prisoners might sort of escape to start with. Because the wall, they're not going to escape because the fence is still around them, but they might be able to get out of their cells. Their cells might not immediately apply. This looks nicer. I think it looks nicer anyway. And it didn't cost us that much, probably. Um, before we do anything else, though, yeah, we really should put auto lights. Auto light placement. Lights will be placed throughout your newly created buildings. What's, oh, th that's not what I'm looking for here. Um, that's okay, though. So this is going to give us new capacity, and it's also going to open up our next cells, or these these big cells here. I don't know if they're going to be given on, like, a merit or, you know, given based on good behavior or something like that, but we'll see. Oh, you need to fill in, like, one more space, and then it would finish. I was like, that thing should be filling in right now. Okay, so yes, that is that has broken several of my cells and also my heart, but we will just do it up like this. And like that, and that'll fix that problem. Then we'll get our piping set up and stuff like that. And we'll also dismantle this uh, large jail door. Wow, this the laundry has never been easier to do, is what the janitor is saying right now. By the way, now that I think about it, we should probably hire... How many janitors? Six? Uh, six might be enough, but you know what? Let's hire a couple more gardeners. I haven't hired them in ages. Okay, so fill in the walls. Everything's looking good again. And we are going to install a large jail door here. And we're also, once this large jail door is installed, we're going to make this area open. I didn't realize we also need brick walls here. And there's an outdoor window in these cells. It's going to look at the fence, but there will be an outdoor window nonetheless. Alright, now that there's a jail door there, we can go to deployment and make this area unlocked. And now our workmen can do what they need to do here. Um, it, 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 it's, oh, maybe this doesn't fall under that? Okay, I'll tell you what. This door stays locked open, then. We can brute force it. Uh, okay, let's, let's start making our cells. So we want to make them as high quality as possible. Honestly, to denote that this is a nicer area, I kind of want to make the floor nicer. So let's, uh, how much, oh my god, wooden floors, 50 per square. M marble tiles, 10 per square. This might be hideous. But I want you to know, as soon as you walk into your cell, that you're appreciated. You know, we appreciate your good behavior, and that's why we've opted to put you in this... It's like a nicer area. The rooms are hideous, by the way. The floor is terrible. But at least it's not bare concrete. This is my wing for good behavior. Okay, prisoners are mad. Are they just mad about hygiene? Yeah, they always get pissed about hygiene. Oh, that has not solved the problem. We probably need to make our showers larger. We could bulldoze like this area and put it next to the chapel and, and probably be fine. All right, next we want to build in uh, our objects. Man, this is hideous. So every cell needs a bed and a toilet. That's fine. And then, if possible, an office desk. This is not an office desk. This is a bookshelf. Office desk. And then, um, what were the other options here? Outdoor window. 
Radio bookshelf chair. We're not going to be able to get all of them, I think, in these tiny cells. But we'll be able to do okay, is my hope. So, let's go with uh, outdoor window, which is just window. I've never used those before. But these are all facing outside. What do you mean you can't large? Why? Oh, because it's, it's facing a fence? Well, these cells are going to be super nice then. Uh, it doesn't have to be large window, I guess. It could just be regular window, but still. They got the fence next to them. So they, you can look through a fence. It's just, I'm not going to deny that it's like the, it's not the ideal setup, but. Uh, let's build some brick walls out here too. Oh, is there a fight? Thought I saw a fight happening there. I've seen fights in our parole building and I, it disappoints me to no end. It's like, come on, have mercy. On one another here, you're not animals. All right, we do need to dismantle utilities. I forgot that there's like large piping running through here. So let's let's do that before we do anything else. As much as I hate to admit it, even prisoners in uh, high quality cells might choose to uh, break my heart and try to tunnel out of the prison. So it's unfortunate, but it's, it's just a fact of life. These people are here against their will. I also feel like um, we could actually fulfill their desire of well now that I think about it if I put a wall there are they actually going to be able to to shower like what if I, if I put a shower head here and just surround it by drains maybe they'll be okay makes half their cell a drain but could could work nonetheless I don't know, this is the first time I've ever built luxurious cells like this. I feel like this gives you something to strive for, and on a psychological level, maybe that maybe that helps you out, you know? So we'll build out uh, short pipes like this, and hopefully it'll actually work. Also, short pipes, great name for, like, a gangster inside of this prison, just in case you're interested in trying it out for yourself. Um, this is still our yard, so you should be able to build piping out like this. Maybe to here. And maybe to here. And we'll be able to use that for our actual toilets. I know this is going to take a while and I apologize for it. But at the same time, you know, measure twice, cut once. Measure twice, cut once. So we're going to make this a cell. Pretty soon we're going to clone this one. I suppose we should give it a chair. Chairs are like cheaper than TVs. And you know what? We can definitely give it a radio as well. And this is going to be a pretty high quality cell. I mean, it's not going to be 10 out of 10. But it's gonna be, it's gonna be okay. Come on, dog. What do you mean you can't get to this? Just get to the pipe. You can clearly get to this area. And we do, obviously, we still need to put a jail door on it. I mean, this is gonna be a nice reward, but at the same time, let's not be unreasonable here. So this is what's gonna be cloned. So let's just uh, get the clone tool ready. We'll drag like that. No bottom wall. Each one of these cells is a little expensive. From 53.2 thousand to 52.1. It's only 1200 bucks, actually. That's not that bad. We still don't have the piping properly installed here either. We are about to complete this grant, though. And you gotta admit, if you got the choice between this cell and this cell, I think it's pretty clear. Room quality? Blank out of seven. Above average. Blank out of seven. I'll take it. Um... I wonder if I, I, I hate to do this, but if I install like a staff door in the yard, hopefully these guys will figure out that they can actually install these pipes over here. Sometimes the path, the path, sometimes the pathfinding can be a little wonky. Um, that's, that's just, you know, it is what it is. There's a lot of complex behavior going on here. It's not me trying to defend the developers, because I don't think they need defending. You know, the game works fantastically most of the time, considering the, the complex amount of moving parts involved in it, but... Um, sure, occasionally there's, uh, there's some stuff like that, some minor inconveniences. You know what, we should have just completed the pipes like this. How's our electricity looking, by the way? I forgot that that might be an issue for us soon. Yeah, probably before we do much else, we should work on getting, like, a second electrical grid going. And we'll put it, like, way wedged up in the corner over here. If the power goes out in our prison, it's gonna cause some issues. Um, how does the logistics look again? Oh, sorry, uh, room quality. Because some of these, yeah, the ones with the window should actually be eight. So these are like the presidential suites, basically. 
Why would you not be getting water? Oh, because we didn't install a pipe there. That explains it. We could probably start thinking about making perimeter walls, too. Now it's 3 a.m. Um, why don't we uh, why don't we let in 12 new prisoners? Intake. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That'll take us up to 99 prisoners. We just completed our grants. This wall hasn't been installed yet? Oh, there we go. He's as if he heard me. Um, we also really need that pipe to be installed. But I'm pretty proud of the way this prison is functioning so far. Again, we should probably blow out this wall and make the shower area a little larger. That's easy, man. That's, that's not a complicated thing to do. But if hygiene is a genuine issue, we can, we can solve it that way. Eh, it, it seems like a genuine-ish issue. And we'll see how our school goes tomorrow as well. I didn't really pay attention to it yesterday, but maybe we can complete our grants. The grant is consistently pretty tough, but you know what? I've decided to go for it. We do need more school desks. That's okay. We've, we can work on that in the future. Um, this area should no longer be open. But we also want to make... It's like our... This is our luxurious um, penthouse suite and also solitary wing. Most people would uh, not put those together. I have chosen to exempt myself from, from that crowd. And we put the good with the bad. Why could you not build it there, by the way? Am I missing something? Are we out of bricks? Has there been a universal brick shortage that I was not made aware of before starting this episode? We're making Jim Cramer style mad money here. I'm excited about that. And the, now that this area is, like, nicely stoned, it looks like, uh... We've made a huge mistake and it's not symmetrical. But that's okay, again, it's... It, the prison is an iterative process. It's a work in progress. Graham Fade Tyson, IT worker in a major multinational corporation who murdered most of the senior management due to their incompetence. Ironically, the company is now thriving after the management cull. Peter Knowles, ignored ergonomics advice and failed to take frequent breaks during frequent breaks during coding sessions. Mild eye fatigue and muscle strain soon escalated into the tragic events portrayed so memorably in the TV movie Carpal Tunnel of Death, The Peter Knowles Story. <laughs> Mild chuckles, Peter Knowles. I like this guy. All right, robbery. Manslaughter, that's pretty messed up. Joseph Mr. Average Sims. Joseph Sims, otherwise known as Mr. Average, was once a Twitch live streamer, but after a troll hacked one of his charity live streams, he became enraged and threw his computer tower out of his apartment window, and it killed a pedestrian and her child. That is sad. An evil human with an interest in the demonic arts wanting to bring all life to an end. Yo. Y'all right, Mr. Edgy? Oh, you're really scary. Okay. What do we have here? Peter Knowles again. I like that dude. After making and selling his games in bundles for so long he could not outdo his competition, he uploaded a virus to their servers and shortly after was caught and charged for his cyber crimes. Now, nah, we should turn our intake off. It looks like we also need to hire um, more prisoners. <laughs> more in uh, more cards, I mean. Okay. Well, what about extra grants? We should probably just honestly click on all of our uh, options here that are not super cost prohibitive small cells wow that uh, seems dangerous uh don't really want to unlock death row yet what about permanent punishments okay we spent some money on these they'll be completed early release prisoner award three thousand dollars parole you've done it again visitation's going okay over here visitation no touching, don't give a fuck if I'm... Okay, well, you know, I tried. Classroom, classroom. Excuse me. Our prisoner is teaching the class by himself. This does not seem good. Zero interested. All good. It's just Yasmir. I like the cut of your jib, Yasmir. I wish I could click on you. Oh, there it I had him. Three days without incident. What a hero. Okay. Um, what's going on then? Well, CCTV cameras should probably be installed. Oh, CCTV's cameras should probably be installed here. Uh, a guard should be installed here. And logistically, we should turn this stuff off. Or from a deployment menu, we should turn this off. Okay. 
I'm not going to make this like minimum security or anything like that. Door mode is normal. Staff. Guard. Hire several. They're not that expensive. They keep the prison functioning well. Deploy two guards into our new cell block. Utilities. Get a CCTV camera up there. I, and then obviously we do still have to build out our solitary cells as well. I didn't really complete that. Our guards are like, they're so slow. I guess they're patrolling, so I'm not, I'm not too mad about it. I don't think anybody occupies this cell yet. Because you know what? They haven't freaking earned it. This is why, by the way, you build two tile-wide hallways. It takes them a long time to move when there's so many people. Uh, no. You... Search. You're not supposed to be out here. Um, you're like really not supposed to be out there. Did the guard actually open the door for them? He's like, hey, yeah, why don't you just walk out into this uh, completely unsupervised area out here? No problem. Similarly, staff only. Not staff only. Staff only. You should not be out here. You can be reprimanded as a result of this. Okay, the camera is hooked up to electricity. It's being covered by the grid, at least. And uh, we need to connect it. Probably to the bottom one. Ah, it's hard to tell. I still think we have too many hooked up to each one, probably, but... It does move back and forth, so I'm going to treat that as a positive for now. We might need more CCTV monitors, but for now I can live with this. Okay, build more school desks, they tell me. Build more school desks. If we can at least complete that part of the objective, I consider that okay. School desk. Yeah, but the weapons rack, right next to the school desk, as usual. And then probably like two more. Yes, we have completed build 20 school desks. Um, if the classroom's gonna be a little busy. What do you want? It's a freaking prison, okay? I'm doing my best here. Uh, we still need to hook up solitary. Are the pipes... The pipes are hooked up to put the toilet in the wrong position. So you know what? That's exactly what we're gonna do. If you didn't want to have the toilet in the wrong position, you shouldn't have, uh, let yourself get put in solitary confinement for being a, a right ornery douchebag, okay? And then we are gonna use solitary doors. Even though they're expensive. And yes, there's an argument to be made that we could clone this. But these are quick enough that I don't think it's that bad. And we are going to have enough solitary cells to handle a prison that is like four times this size. Rooms. Solitary. These ones should be functional. Yeah, they... I don't know, those toilets look a little akimbo, but... Whatever's got to be done. Okay. Good! Good! This is good! We still need to produce 30 license plates. Unfortunately, our prisoners are like super uninterested in... A lot of stuff, but, uh, that's okay, you know, it's your journey. I don't want to bust out the wall in the canteen if possible. I guess that they can share a wall. So let's build out a, a little bit of a shower extension like that. Normally when people talk about a shower extension, it gets a little dirty, but not today. It's going to be real clean, like, we are just going to, they're not going to be able to install anything here now that I think about it. They're going to need, like, another staff door somewhere. After that staff door is installed, this guy's doing a great job of resting uh, in his eternal resting place surrounded by bricks that he will never be able to free himself from. Any workman gonna make this happen? Oh, I forgot that we could buy this land over here. I didn't realize that we were not even at the first expansion yet. I thought we were I thought we were cooking with gas. Yo, prisoners. It's sleep time. It's taking you literally 45 minutes to walk back to your cell here, dog. Something seems a little suspicious. You know what? We should probably end this episode with a with a right old shakedown. Materials. Brick wall. Um, just like this, actually. And then like that. Doesn't even need ah, we'll do it like that anyway. Got to get the lights installed as well, which is fine. We'll also dismantle this door. This might be, this open concept prison might get me on HGTV though. 
what's the point of having this wall here? I, it's a very good question. I, you know, I, I just organization, I guess. Uh, like to keep this as our shower as well. And we got the chapel shower here. It's a little known fact, uh, but a chapel shower is twice as effective. I think I've got white tiles here, so we'll try to make it match. 880 bucks, no big deal. And uh, shower heads. Apply like so. It's a more open concept setup, but uh, I think we're gonna I think you're gonna like it, guys. You're gonna have a little bit more space to be spread out. You know, quite selfishly, I am hoping that that means perhaps a little less fist fighting. Um, maybe I'm being a little overly optimistic, but that's that's my hope. And I'd love it if you guys could join me on this little pleasure cruise of efficiency that I've put myself on now. I'm gonna wire them up like this, and like this, and like this, and you gotta admit... Oh, I was just about to say we haven't had any incidents lately. What happened? Where? Okay, deaths. Where? What, did you get hit by? Strong, volatile, stoical snitch dead. This is why we need uh, protective custody because unfortunately it's, it's not enough to just have armed guards. People still gonna get stabbed in the shower, especially snitches and especially ex-law enforcement. That's very unfortunate. I'm displeased as a result of this. But I think we've handled our dead prisoner. Is that positive? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Uh, now it's time, once we get these shower heads installed, it's time for the ultimate disappointment. A shakedown, where I find out which one of my prisoners, which ones of my prisoners, to be more realistic, have betrayed me and uh, are hiding contraband, in spite of the fact that I am the most benevolent warden in uh, the penal system's history. And the time for that is not quite ready yet, because it's going to really disrupt our prison a little bit. Also, they're going to be hungry, so we should probably wait till after they eat, then they're going to be much less likely to riot as a result. So let's let them have their food time here. It's also a good time for us to check how food's going. Oh, there's another freaking assault here. At least our prisoners are putting them down, or our guards are putting them down easily. And you get taken to the brand new wings, sucker! Enjoy looking in on uh, this guy's, like, ideal room. Let's see how those look now. Logistics, room quality, oh. This guy's entitled to grade eight. We've only given him a grade seven, but that's okay. Look at these people, they all deserve it. So a round of applause for them. You guys show what's possible with hard work, elbow grease, and you know, definitely suppressing those homicidal tendencies. Could you get these prayer mats out of my freaking chapel, please? I didn't realize how bigoted that came across at first, but. It's messing up my wood floors. I didn't... It's gonna scratch the wood floor. I spent like $15,000 on that. The prayer mats go along the right side of the chapel shower. It's for feng shui. I'll get the freaking garbage bags out of here too. Okay. So it's free time. It's at night. I think it's time for a shakedown. Three, two, one. Boom. I can't wait to find what kind of contraband you sons of bitches have been hiding. You know what I'm most scared of? That there's going to be contraband up here. If one of you... Level... Freaking 10... Jokers is, is hiding a tunnel, I'm going to be real displeased. What do we got? A lot of clubs. Those are from the common room, I think. It's like a busted up pool cue. Batons. Probably stole it from a guard during a fight. Cigarettes. I'm not that mad about. Poison. A little mad about. Booze. I'm not that mad about it, honestly. Mostly, like, the screwdriver, the scissors are bad, um, the shank is bad, and it's the club and the baton as well. Honestly, though, it's a pretty well-behaved prison, all things considered. There's a cell phone, okay. I mean, I, they sh they're not supposed to have it, but it's a non-violent crime. All things considered, that's not so bad. Um, you know what? I think we should have maybe a guard stationed in our common room. This is like really highlights the holes in our prison. We should probably have a guard station in our visitation room. We should also probably have a guard station in parole and probably a guard station in laundry. So as much as I hate to do it, we're actually gonna like really, really crack down on security and we're gonna be hiring a lot of new guards as a result of the fact that uh, this is happening. So one, two, three, four. Shakedown's basically complete. Oh God, what have we done on the screen here? 
Searched 493 of 495 places. Which shakedown's done. We completed a shakedown. That doesn't happen all that often. You guys are still cool in my book. Are you actually trapped inside of your radio? You might, or no, you're just dancing. Uh, you should be dancing. You, what do you mean you need literacy? You got a desk. What do you need literacy for if you have a desk? Anyway. I think it's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Remember, this uh, series used to be sponsored. It is no longer sponsored, but if that compromises my viewpoint for you, Vladimir! Wait, no, this is Klaus Yasmin! Why would you pee on the floor, you son of a bitch? You were the teacher. You were the chosen one. Oh, well. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. What happened to Doctor Number Two? Maybe I sacked him by accident. Oh well. Actually, you know what? Before we leave, one more guard in staff, and he's gonna be stationed. It's a boring job, but he's gonna be stationed in the cleaning cupboard. Uh, anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Ha. See ya.